Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Gavin here on my YouTube channel. Hope you're well. Uh, having a great day. It is Saturday afternoon. <clears throat> Just about to drive to Manchester for a nice out with my friend for his birthday. So, uh, should be good. Should be a great night. And, um, it's, uh, it's finally nice to just go out and just let my hair down and, and just uh, not, uh, not get too wrapped up and um, consumed by what's happening in the world right now. But I need to just stress to a lot of people um, that if you think the last few years has been tough, um, I project that the next two to three years are gonna be exceptionally tough on a lot of people. A lot of people are gonna be blindsided. So I just need to put it out there, a bit of a disclaimer. Uh, this video is not financial advice. This is, I'm not a financial advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Right, so I've been doing some research into OPEC and OPEC Plus. So uh, Russia has aligned themselves with Saudi Arabia and uh, the other uh, countries like Iraq, etc., which produce uh, a lot of oil, around about 50% of the world's oil. They've just announced um, in recent uh, weeks that they will be uh, reducing oil supply so therefore there'll be uh, a high rise as there's less supply but as demand grows globally um, as countries are back into manufacturing back into logistics uh, distribution and whatnot uh, naturally the demand's going to go up oil is needed for transport of all types of goods it is also used in the manufacturing of uh, metals, uh, lubrication, a whole host of um, different things. It's used in the production of cars, tyres, anything we pretty much use day to day, plastics etc is comprised of uh, oil of some description. Um, so I know a lot about oil because I used to train uh, the CEO of one of the biggest oil companies on the planet. Um, trained him for many years, learned a lot about the petrodollar, learned a lot about um, the corruption um, within the oil industry, but also how they operate around the world. Um, here in the UK, we do have access to a lot of oil, but unfortunately we've been too dependent on foreign states and the OPEC uh, for many years that we've cut, cut supply by cutting our own uh, our own North Sea oil uh, rigs. We've stopped using them so much. and So we've become more dependent on other countries. And uh, Trump actually did warn Europe to uh, not depend too much on Russia. So what are we in now? We are in a energy war crisis. Um, and ironically, these OPEC countries can now produce less and ch yet charge more. So they're more profitable in a time where uh, Putin will need more supplies and armament, uh, can't even say it, armoury, should we say, uh, and weapons. Um, it's obvious to me that uh, he can um, align himself more f with the uh, BRIC nations and especially OPEC and make more profit for less, less uh, production uh, in a time when he will need the funds, which means the knock-on effects here in the UK and in Western culture will be simple. Uh, I'm project, and I've said this before, uh, food prices will go up. Um, the goods that you use, even so, let's use ketchup as an example, right? So ketchup, what, what does it come in? Most often or not, a plastic bottle, okay. Plastic, what is it derived from? Oil. Um, the logistics needed to transport that good from one country to another to get it to the store needs oil. So we've already, I've already mentioned in a previous video with the uh, tyrannical uh, methods of forcing farmers to produce less by um, blackmailing them and whatever else, combine that with famines, um, combine that with the breadbasket of Europe that is um, Ukraine, with the fact that Russia obviously is a giant producer of certain food types. Um, here in the UK, we've had some crazy I ideals being forced upon us from the EU, as well as um, our own government um, giving subsidies to farmers not to farm certain land. Now we need it. We need our own farming. We need our own 
resources. Um, we need our own uh, energy. I do believe in green energy long term, but I think we're overstepping the gun. I think the problem is uh, rather than taking a long term transitional approach at things like we've done in previous industrial revolutions, I feel that uh, we're overstepping the gun a bit too much. In the description below, um, for anyone who thinks I'm a bit of a tinfoil hat um, wearer, and I'll go a bit too over the top, I'm going to put a link to the actual government website which actually um, discloses quite clearly um, about the founder of um, the WEF, uh, World Economic Forum, and um, the, our own government here in the UK has got an article linked to, the, um, to their viewpoints and cl potential collaboration with uh, Klaus and the WEF. So, we're, so our government in a roundabout sort of way is opening up the floodgates to the elite around the world, uh, the billionaires, who, and our government um, feels a bit like they're, they're a bunch of puppets. It's always been that way really. They get too many backhanders and too many, um, too, too many, I'm trying to use my words correctly here so I don't get blocked. Um, they have to please a lot of these elite individuals, people who dictate to them, um, more so than their own people. So that's why we, we're subjected to all these tyrannical, crazy ideologies. Um, because it's all part of uh, the Agenda 2030. Um, and it's crazy to hear it recently in a uh, World Economic Forum um, conversation, it's out there on the internet. Part of their strategy by 2025 was to reduce the global population by half. Um, and they're very open about it all. It's mad, it's crazy. Um, so yeah, I'll put in a I'll put in the description below uh, the link to the government website specifically um, about um, a, a relationship build-up and this was put out five years ago um, before what happened in 2020 and 2021. So let's break this down, put it into simplistic terms, OPEC plus, uh, it used to be OPEC um, comprising of Saudi Arabia, Iraq and a number of uh, Middle Eastern countries which produce oil. They've then turned it into OPEC plus with a relationship now with Russia. Um, the um, oil used to be sold primarily in petrodollar. That's why there's more tensions with America and OPEC with the war going on in, um, in Russia with the massive amount of um, food production reduction in the last year because of famines, uh, like barbaric issues with farmers. We've seen it in Canada, we've seen it in Europe with the war that's going on with the bread baskets. It's obvious to me that food especially is going to go up through the roof. So again, this is not financial advice, it's entertainment purposes. But if, if I was anyone with two brain cells and I thought, right, I've got some savings here. If my food's going to go up by 10, 20, 50, 100% in the next year, I would stockpile my staples, foods that will last three, five years, so I can stay ahead of inflationary pressure. Um, inflation's, I, this is my personal opinion. I feel that inflation's gonna get worse here in the UK. Interest rates will get worse as um, oil globally as the demand goes up and the supply gets shorter, the price will be forced up. That will then put the price up on other commodities, um, wheat, sugar, um, even gas, because of trans transportation. Um, I feel that other commodities will go up as well. I feel that the precious metals market will go up uh, a lot over the next few years. Why? Because Certain governments in the BRICS nations especially are buying a lot of precious metals, especially in gold uh, and silver, um, as a lot of countries are trying to strengthen their own currencies. Unfortunately, here in the UK, I can see that not the pound has been weakened 
massively the last year. Um, we're an island nation, we've, we've been too arrogant for too long. Uh, we've secluded ourselves um, by being too uh, dependent on other nations' resources. Now we need those resources. Uh, we're kind of panicking a bit. Oh, let's do fracking, right, let's open up our, our own North Sea oil. There's going to be um, a lot of panic and stress and frustration here in the UK because it's going to take a while for these said um, energy uh, resources to be utilised. Nuclear power, a lot of it is out of date, needs updating. Um, you can see this transparently in Germany where they're trying to desperately uh, do whatever they can to get various other energy sources up. Um, so when I break it down, like I say, the OPEC plus Russia, Saudi Arabia alliance, increasing the price of oil by decreasing the output will effectively increase the price on various goods that we depend on, things that we take for granted, food will go up as, the, as there's going to be over the next few years there's going to be less food, there's going to be higher transport costs. Um, so to me it just makes sense to stockpile on staple foods and things that we take for granted. And I, I can't give this out as advice but as the pound gets weaker and weaker and there's, there's going to be food shortages and there's going to be energy um, and fuel and oil cost increases uh, to me, it just, it just, even a tin of beans, I said it sounds from likes Audi, which might be 39, 49p now. I'm not gonna, this is just a speculation. It could be double in price in a year's time. And it won't be Audi's fault. It'd be the fact that their supply chain um, uh, will be affected. The, the, their supply chain will have to put the price up. The logistics of getting the goods to the stores will have to go up. So unfortunately, the people who get affected the most by extreme inflation um, and oil prices going through the roof will be the consumer, normal people like you and I. Um, and I can read this a mile off. I can see it happening, unfortunately, mid to late next year, which is gonna be an even harsher time. Why? Because over a million and a half people's uh, uh, mortgages are gonna go up. So with all this pressure of uh, inflation, oil prices going up, and, uh, and mortgages, etc., it's gonna be hard for a lot of people. Um, so be smart with your money. Uh, I, w I can't give this advice, but this is what I'm doing. I'm making sure that my family and I have got enough food, um, things that last a long time, put, it put aside. Um, and at worst case scenario, I'm wrong and we've got loads of food. And I can make a donation potentially to a, to a uh, food bank. Or we just eat, eat the food and the food goes up a little bit and we've saved a bit of money. But um, we're an island nation with over 60 million people. We've been scrutinizing um, and tough on our farmers for too long. Uh, and the other big concern, which I heard through uh, Redacted, uh, our YouTube channel, which is a good channel to watch, by the way, um, is that uh, the likes of uh, compost and the line of works going past, um, and the likes of fertilizer here in U in, in Europe is down by almost two thirds. Well, that's scary. That's a scary statistic. So as we cut off from a lot of nations, Russia's not gonna to wanna to supply us, Ukraine's in war, uh, India and Pakistan, there's tensions there, and uh, there's been a lot of floods there. Global food uh, production's down, oil prices are likely to go up. So, like I say, I feel that now, right now, is gonna be the calm before the storm. I'm not gonna say any more on this subject, but you only have to look at it in a very simplistic way, and that's why I'm trying to keep what, what statistics I get and 
sharing with you in a very simplistic way because most people won't understand what's happening and they won't be able to navigate the confusion. So OPEC in, in simplistic terms is a large group of countries which aren't a big fan of Western culture right now. They pro provide 50% of the oil. And then we, and if they decide to reduce the oil uh, production, which they are, the price will simply go up because the, su the supply demand will go up, but the supply will be fixed and minimized. And, and then at the same time, if food production globally has been massively hit and deliberately reduced, uh, like I say, food could go up by 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 percent, could even double treble. Um, I'm not here to scare people, I look at hard facts. Whenever I've been on national radio, TV, done articles, because everyone's got Google, um, I have to quote with facts. But you can do your own research, all you need to do is um, YouTube search and Google search uh, OPEC and uh, if you've got two brain cells which I know that most of you will have because if you're in this video you've been intrigued by the content um, you only have to look at the, the stats out there and what the governments around the world have been doing so it could be part of the big plan to actually kill off a lot of people starve them to death um, and supermarkets could be full of food but if people can't afford it because their energy costs have gone through the roof um, people losing their jobs and whatever else and the government's cutting back on uh, the support uh, it's going to be it's going to be tough for a lot of people um, and the vicious circle is if energy prices and fuel prices go up through the roof and the government has to then print more money to give more stimulus out to people here in the UK and US of A um, especially in the UK it's just going to weaken the pound even more so it's then a vicious circle because if the pound's getting weaker and weaker and isn't just in parody of uh, the dollar I think at some point we're going to be much weaker than the dollar um, because the dollar is the global reserve currency the dollar will get stronger and stronger the pound will get weaker and weaker um, therefore imports will become um, less affordable for the for the masses food will go up it's just a giant shitstorm basically guys so i'm gonna try and be more positive in certain content pieces um just sometimes straight talk on certain subjects that concern me um especially for my um fellow uh, citizens here in the uk um i know that this video will probably be more viewed when uh the issues finally hit people around the face and think and they wake up and think oh crikey it's here now so um, my best advice to people would be um, be smart save your money um, and uh, and yeah personally um, I, I may, I've made the decision to be smarter and um, be a bit wiser in this period and make my own, I've made a lot of decisions for the not just for the short term but for the long term and I project that the next two years the pound's going to be much weaker it's going to be even more uh, money printing our bonds are going to be less in of less interest to people around the world um, things are just going to get more and more expensive and a lot of people are going to lose their jobs so no hands up if, if i'm wrong and i hope i'm wrong um great but i'd rather uh err on the side of ca extreme caution during these crazy times um than not you, at the end of the day the, the government printed so much so much money stimulus uh, and now we're all going to pay for it um, at the same time, interest rates and inflation is going to go through the roof and uh, indirectly food costs and other things will just be more expensive because of uh, lower global uh, oil production. Anyway, give us a follow on YouTube if you like what I'm about. Straight talking, no BS, say how it is. Uh, 
have a look at that article that I'm going to put up below. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Give the video a thumbs up as well. And uh, have a great day.